Hello, my name is Vijay Krishnan, and uh, I'm a second year MBA student and Center for Digital Strategies fellow at the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College. Joining us today is uh, Sudev Balakrishnan, a Tuck alumnus and a director of e-commerce and product management for Bluefly. Hi. Sudev, welcome back to Tuck, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Our topic for this year is uh, Big Data at the Center for Digital Strategies. And uh, what we'd like to get uh, your thoughts on are some of the opportunities for big data in the field of online retail. E-commerce companies traditionally have, have been a function of products and prices. Um, now, where the overlap is beginning to happen is uh, a lot of the technologies that are being used by e-commerce companies. And e-commerce is increasingly becoming technology driven. So the, the technologies that are being used by pure firms as infiltrating the business of e-commerce. Um, if, if you take products or prices today, um, they are largely driven by internal teams, business decision making. But when you start getting intricate information about the, the consumer, the visitor, um, using that in real time to make decision making and affect the site experience, is becoming an option. Uh, this traditionally, this data has been collected over time, but um, the analytic horsepower, the platforms to execute on that have not been there. But now they're coming into play, and you're finding a proliferation of uh, th this technology. So if you think of it, um, when a major platform becomes open source, its, its applicability to companies increases drastically. Uh, and that's what we find in the space is, is uh, these larger technologies would, would have not been developed by an e-commerce play, but once they have become sufficiently established in the industry and their price points are coming down, um, they are being used by all these e-commerce companies to do this, solve the same problem. It's just becoming accessible for them. Okay, great. So are there any specific uh, companies or technologies that uh, you think are particularly exciting right now uh, in the big data space? Um, almost every every um, company that we partner with um, to provide a solution that could be a product or price or anything is looking at big data specifically and these platforms to improve what they have been doing historically and to launch new services. So other other um, examples of of uh, people using big data that that is exciting for sure. I think I think uh, recommendation engines. Technology is improving. Um, uh, targeting targeted promotions is is uh, an exciting space. Uh, these are all technologies we would actively monitor for for uh, innovation. Okay, it's great. So, how about um, you know looking at the flip side and looking at some of the challenges of uh, using big data right now? Is it more a technology challenge, or is it a lack of expertise, perhaps, or just the fact that it's a new field? What are some of the biggest challenges you see? The challenges for big data. One is uh, again, I said this. This comes from a technology world into commerce. Um, the skill sets needed to maintain and develop that, uh, that uh, uh, is, is different from the skill sets that have been inherently in an e-commerce company. Um, so we have to build on the skill sets. Number one, we have to get people who understand big data who can actually uh, bridge business and technology better. Um, the second is, uh, is uh, maintaining it and running it and executing it. That has to become a part of the corporate strategy. Um, that today is still not very well established in, 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 the, in the space. People are beginning to t tinker with it, but I don't think by any means um, what Google looks at big data and understands from it in a simplistic fashion is something an e-commerce company would have the same um, view of. So obviously, we are lo the smaller companies would uh, have to have a learning curve where they get a few teams in or they might have consultants to build this expertise. You're going to find uh, just like we had SEO had SEO consultants in the spaces. Big data is going to have firms which are which smaller firms will rely on to make intelligent decision making. The other big challenge here, I think, is is applicability of this this too. Is uh, big data is is obviously useful, but um, uh, may not apply in all situations. So companies are going to have to experiment to find out what parts of decision making they'll have to apply this to. Um, if you think about it. Uh, Big data is not the same as quality of data, um, so uh, and and the qualified traffic that drives the data. So that these two have to merge. So you not only have to have big data, but you also need to have good qualified, uh, good data 
to make good okay. decision making. So that's okay. an issue too. Yeah, that's great. So uh, finally, I'm curious to know what advice you'd give uh, some of our MBA students who want to get into this field. Uh, sh you know, for instance, should they be concerned that they do not have a computer science background or a technical background, or is this something that uh, an MBA student can aspire to get into? Absolutely. The, I think the, the key skills in this, in this space, the space uh, of, when I'm, I'm specifically referring to e-commerce, um, the, the classic skills would have been marketing, being able to understand um, online marketing is extremely important in the space. Uh, social viral, uh, promotional strategy, that, that's a great thing. Um, merchandising is, is a bedrock. You need to understand fashion trends and stuff like that. And now increasingly technology is becoming a, a group that uh, these companies are relying on. So you do not have to specifically have a computer science background or a technology background, but you could, you could work across any of these fields to enter the space. It's a, the space is being disrupted uh, a lot, so you have to just have a risk profile which leans towards disruption uh, and be comfortable with that. MBA students typically are, uh, tend to be risk less risk averse. Uh, so you have to just make sure it, it, it fits your uh, profile as well, but there's this absolutely exciting space to be in. Okay, well, great. Well, uh, Sudev, on behalf of the Center for Digital Strategies at Tuck, thank you very much for joining us and for sharing your thoughts and insights. Uh, again, my name is Vijay Krishnan, and uh, this has been presented by the Center for Digital Strategies at Tuck. Thank you.